I'll try to say hi to all of you. I see so many. So to those of you that don't uh, understand what's going on right now, we are going to be doing a full moon energy healing. I work with angels and um, creators energy, and I also have downloads. So being a psychic medium, no idea what messages will come through. I've done this before. Um, I've actually had pretty long and pretty heavy turnouts and I've done healings all over the world, but um, I decided to start this back up. So to those of you that are still coming on, there's quite a few of you that I know have already said that you'd be coming in and I um, will start exactly at seven because I, I have a feeling I'll be doing these quite often, but exactly at seven central time, Nashville, Tennessee, USA. And I will wait three minutes because there's so many people that like to come and go. I want to make sure that those who are kind of getting to the point where they're logging in, logging out, whatever, uh, that you have time to get into um, your settled position. Once I start, I will not repeat myself. The energy coming through and the channeling that's going on with me, I will not be able to repeat myself multiple times. The energy coming through will consistently flow, and I don't want to break any of that. So I ask that you get here in that three-minute time. Get yourself comfortable, meditative, candles, bright lights, <laughs> do whatever you need to to get yourself ready for this. And then once it's, um, once it's flowing, I want you to just relax and let this energy do its thing. So it's 7.03. The first thing that I want to do is give everybody a grounding. We're going to walk through a process with the angels here and ground ourselves. Get ready for a complete flush of your energy system. And I will be guiding this and I will also be telling you what to do if you don't understand what a ground is. A ground is where we center ourselves and release the days, the weeks, the months, the years, depending on your blocks into Mother Earth and allow it to be flushed away and the repairs to start because the energy coming in is going to be pretty intense, high vibrational, and it's going to be filled with pretty uh, thick, intent, uh, unconditional love and you don't want uh, to be so full of negative pockets that you can't soak it in. So the first thing we do is ground and heal and then we bring in that beautiful energy. Okay, so before I started, I did some meditation. And the flock of angels that came into here is just overwhelming. It's beautiful. Like they just started flocking in here. And then this beautiful unconditional love came down and covered me. And it's about to be projected into you guys through light codes. But um, I also asked to be guided intuitively. And the amount of hands that went on my back, it's just like... I'm telling you, when you work with angels, you are not neglected. You are always supported and you're always loved. And it's like, oh, it's super intense. So anyways, all right. For those of you that are ready, I ask that you close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. I want you to do this a couple more times until you feel yourself relax. Imagine your conscious self going down to your feet, pulling out of your feet and going into Mother Earth. Soak yourself into Mother Earth and I want you to feel the cool of the ground around you. I want you to smell the fresh of this dirt. I want you to see roots, see worms, see bugs, anything that makes you feel as if you're connected to the Mother Earth layer. Soak into that dirt into Mother Earth as if you're in a pool and you've gone underwater and all parts of you are submerged. I want you to lay into this this crust layer and feel, breathe, become and let Mother Earth take all of that pain and that negativity, all of your resentments, your anger, your confusion, your anxiety, your depression. Right now, it is okay to let go. Release that energy. Some massive flushings going on. Release that energy, and when you feel ready, lift yourself up. Come up out of the earth. 
with your hair behind you <laughs> and your body fresh. And stand back up into your body, whether you're laying down, sitting, lounging, standing while you do this meditation, it doesn't matter. Just pull yourself back up into your body. Slowly open your eyes and allow yourself to come back into the room. We need to make sure that you're grounded and that you're brought back into this room right here. Okay, so don't mind the craziness with my hands. That's just the channeling of the energy and light codes and all of that activating going on. So all I'm doing is just controlling what's happening here. And it is powerful if you genuinely listen and just let this take over. All right, so now that we've grounded, I will give you a minute to get yourself to the point that you come up and you're in your physical body and you're ready to move on to the healing. The healing is intuitively guided and you will be guided to uh, flush all of what you've got left and um, balance your chakras and your aura, okay? I will guide you from crown to root and then back out your feet to release whatever is stagnant. And you also wanna make sure that you have a continued flow. So that's what we're gonna do whenever we're ready here. I feel like we got a few more people that are just, taking an extra minute and it's okay grounding doesn't need to be fast healing doesn't need to be fast just take your time each one of us is meant to do this at a at our own pace and there's so more people going so awesome to see every single one of you <sighs> lots of pink okay so as i begin to start this healing i ask that creator bring in unconditional love this unconditional love is going to fill this room holy hell In order for you to understand what it's like to be able to uh, feel healed, you have to have unconditional love. And when this unconditional love comes into the room, it uh, fills all those pockets that are uh, empty. Maybe you didn't understand what it was like to be loved or you didn't understand how to heal. You didn't understand what it was like to be um, enough or worthy of some type of uh, situation in your life. You do not lack. And this unconditional love, it fills this room. And it is so powerful. You saw I got emotional in this because it was like, ooh, this he it's like just, I wouldn't say heavy. It's just like, it's, it's, there's no words. <laughs> so it comes into the room and I, I'm pushing it to you guys. And I'm watching this pink blanket come over you. So see, and that's me draping it over your body and clearing the ground. This energy coming in um, is going to help with aiding, healing, balancing, cleansing, and repairing rips and tears within your auric field, which goes about, I think it goes about seven feet in diameter, so about three and a half feet on each side, and each one of your chakras. And that was intense. Holy hell, I don't normally feel what I send, but there it is. Okay, so... That is some intense energy going in right now. Okay, so each one of you is receiving this beautiful blanket of pink, pink, beautiful, unconditional love. And it is, it has draped all of you. Awesome. Okay, so now we are going to move into cleansing the crown chakra. There are some blocked ones, and I'm just going to do this until I feel that uh, we are ready to intuitively move on to the third eye, because I can see each one of you right now intuitively. Uh, we are all connected spiritually through one source, which is Creator. Some of you um, are me. I don't think some of you are even supposed to be here right now. You've kind of stumbled across the video because you're more or less skeptical and you're not allowing the energy to flow. I ask that you, if you genuinely want to stay for this, take a deep breath in. Let yourself just let go and see what this does for you. Yes, there we go. Okay, it is safe. You are, you are protected in this and you have plenty of angels around you should you feel you need some help and guidance. All right, so uh, unconditional or unconditional love is pink, yes, but uh, the crown chakra has got a beautiful white. That's how I see it. All right, moving on to the third eye. Whew, that's awesome. There's so many of you are just like smack. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, so this isn't going to take too long. It's going to cleanse. 
And spiritually, if you look at the third eye, it's an actual eye right here with eyelashes and all, and it even blinks and looks at you. It's kind of creepy sometimes. Okay, moving to the, th to the throat, it's a beautiful blue. Some of you have this one blocked, unbalanced. Some of you are afraid to speak, speak your truth, speak to how you really feel. And some of you, I feel, have some anger. You're, you're over, overreactive. You're speaking too much because you're not being heard. I ask that we balance. Some of you have been traumatized. There is a pretty heavy shield on two people that I see here. It's a black shield, if you will, protecting yourself from being loved and allowing love to come in. All we've ever known is hurt. I ask that if you give me permission, and I know you're not speaking to me, but psychically I can hear you. If you give me permission, one of you is begging that I pull it. Creator is happy to do so. Ooh, lots of emotional, ooh, lots of emotional release here. It's okay, let it out, cry, scream, whatever it is that you need to do. I feel like there's a lot of tears here. Yes. The other person is releasing, awesome. I believe there's a lot of people in spirit that are connected to this video too that are going to see this video after if i can save it properly who are going to see this afterwards all right let's move on down to the solar plexus solar plexus has to do with control right here some of you have given away yourself your rights if you will take your power back by saying no by saying yes, by doing what you feel is right in your life, guided. Hmm. By the way, this is a yellow energy for your solar plexus. Hmm. Going into your, your sacral, orange, beautiful energy coming in. This one has to do with sexual health and addiction. If you are not happy in life, if you are not um, balanced, you don't know how to love yourself, your creative aspects are blocked. If you're trying to live your life for someone else, this will be blocked. Um, I am seeing, uh, it looks like a female body, female body, um, would be her left side. I've been looking at her right, my my right, your left. Something with kidneys, ovaries. I think I know who that is. Anyways. Sending love and light to that area. Mind you, as we're healing and um, cleansing all of these rips and tears that are going through and the removal of these heavy baggage bondages that we've got this unconditional love that i first blanketed you with is filling in all of those spots don't worry they're not going to fill back up with awful negative things you're going to begin to heal moving to the root this one's a fiery red i see a flame right now this one is going to penetrate the root chakra down at your tailbone and it faces downward. So if you're standing up, the funnel would be facing down towards your feet. I feel like this one is pretty stable for all of us. It has to do with stability um, and what we need to feel protected and safe on earth. So that would be shelter, food, um, well, money, protection. Alright, I 
need all of you to take a deep breath in. Release that breath. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Release that into your feet, out into Mother Earth. Imagine your feet being submerged by Mother Earth right now. Okay, now, I don't know how many of you came and went, but my God, I'm saying hello to you all. <laughs> this uh, has been the conclusion. I know it's not very long, but honestly, with as much energy going through me and into you guys, you don't want it for very long. Now, uh, it is important that you just lay low for a little while. You're going to feel some changes. You might feel a little dizzy. You might feel a little like, woo, where am I right now? Um, you might feel emotional. You might get sick. Um, meaning like a cold, you're releasing that third eye. That third eye and that heart we noticed a lot. You might have noticed emotional releases here by crying, maybe some anger. There's going to be a release. Where there is an emotional bond blockage, you're going to have an emotional release. Physical blockage, a physical release. Just like mental, there's a mental blockage. You don't believe something, you're closed-minded, hatred, whatever. You're going to have a mental block. You're going to have an opening, an awareness. And this can actually cause all of that. Um, drink water. Relax. Attempt to give yourself about an hour to just kind of reset. And then um, this will be up for a replay for anybody that wants to watch it. Um, I really do hope that you enjoyed it. And to all of you that did watch it tonight, tell me how you felt. Because I don't cry. I never cry. <laughs> and that unconditional love that came in the room just... I could have bawled if I not had some type of composure. <laughs> it is intense, and I hope you all felt it. And to those of you that are going to be watching this in the next week, month, year, 15 years from now, if it's still out, I want to know how you feel. I will be doing this again on the next full moon. I'll give you the time, the date, and all that, and I'll try my best to make sure that all of you that want to be a part of this are a part of this live the energy is always set. There's an intention with these beautiful angels here to always, always, always have this set anytime that you watch it. And if you feel like you need to have another rush of this energy tonight or you need one um, next week, please watch it again. It is beautiful. It is for you. And it is a gift from Creator and the angels in me. <laughs> so, I love you. You are loved. You are beautiful. You are strong. You are worthy of healing. You are enough. You do not lack. Take this energy and go create today. Go create tomorrow. Go create for this week. Mm, you are loved. All right, let me see how to turn this off. <laughs> Might be a minute.